Welcome everyone, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Good morning. Hey, let's use up some book pages. Yeah, all right. Here are two examples. I'm just gonna back you out a little bit so you can get the full effect. This using um, regular print book pages. I made a little drop down envelope. Okay. And these are very easy, no sewing involved. And this I used music paper and made a double drop down. And I used the different papers to show you what different papers can look like, but I, these are two different styles. This is made out of one paper, and this is actually made out of uh, three papers. So I'll show you the difference. Okay, but they're very easy and they're relatively quick and anybody can do them. So let's get started. All right, let's make the, um, this long one first, okay? A little tuck in the back too. All right, so basically what I did was I took some book pages that were about this big. Um, this is actually a coffee dyed one. It doesn't matter though, any one will do. And it has lots of print and I cut off all the white, but basically I took three pages together and I just cut them a random size um, so they would be all the same size, but I cut them together so that they would be the same size. Same width is most important. And, um, okay, I am going to sit down. Ah, there, I hope you can see this. <clears throat> so basically what we're gonna do is, uh, here comes the complicated part. All right, I'm just gonna fold this up. And then I'm gonna fold this up approximately the same distance. I'm not a big measurer. I like to keep it easy and breezy and fold this one up approximately the same. And what we're going to do is use the tops. Oh, here we go. Hang on. I bribed them. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I really did bribe them. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. So we have those and all you're going to do is glue the little flaps together. Yep. Probably use too much glue. They're just use little tiny bits of glue. If you seem to get too much, use your finger as a oh, hang on. Okay, and we're back. And uh, hopefully things will be quiet. <laughs> you never know here around the zoo. All right, so I'm just gonna share some of that glue. All right, close that up. And uh, just make this little pocket. Okay, so you have three individual pockets. It doesn't matter if there's um, blank spots or not because you can always uh, stamp them or decorate them up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach them. I, I, actually, what I'm gonna do first with these is I'm going to uh, ink them up just a little bit real quick. Okay. I don't really have to do the top because the top's not gonna show. bottom, side, and then this top might choke, so I'm gonna put it at the top top. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink it. Okay, and now, if you're like me and you always forget to put the, to ink this before you glue it together, you can do this trick. There we go, just so it gives some distinction there between the upper lip of the little pocket and the print. All right. So now we have these babies and we're just gonna glue them together. So what you're gonna do is put them on top of each other like this. And it's up to you how much space you wanna leave here, but I like to leave a little bit of space so that you can grab the item that's inside easily. All right, so now you can do this gluing two different ways. If you glue two spot, actually, whoops, oh goodness gracious, wrong way. <laughs> okay. All right, if you just do a U-shaped glue, you will have created for yourself an additional pocket in the back here. If you glue it across, it'll just be solid. Doesn't matter, it's totally your choice, how many pockets you want. And uh, you can use this as your guide. You see that? A mind frame? Whoop. Okay, come back here. Here we go. 
Come on. Come on out, glue. All right. Less is more with the glue. All right. Yes, are you digging in my bag of rags down there? Okay, that's all right. You can do that. Okay, so here we go. Um, we've got our pocket. Oh, oh there. I lost my original. Okay. Now, uh, to decorate this, I just did a very simple design of um, going around with some faux stitching. So I'll show you how to do that. It's very easy. Not rocket science here. Okay. Now, first I'm going to going to fold this down so it just covers the top. Well, let's let's test. Actually, let's fold it up first so we know where we're at. One fold. Two folds. And down. Okay. So at this point, <clears throat> I like to do this the pull together method to get my little sides even my little corners of my little makeshift envelope. And let's actually ink the back because the back, I'm going to have this as a removable. So you will see the back. Therefore, I will decorate the back. All right. And as always, I forget to do the edges of my pockets. So I will delineate them as such after the fact. Okay, here we go. All right, pup has laid down. Whoo! Okay. All right, so now we have this, and we have this, and we have this. Okay. Now we get to the decorating part. Okay, so let's do some faux stitching. Very easy. I'm just using a 1.5 Faber-Castell marker. You can use a pen. <clears throat> doesn't matter just depends how thick you want your um, uh, faux stitching lines to be and on this one I want them a little fatter sometimes I want them thinner sometimes I want them fatter today it's all about the fat okay and we are motoring down um, these crafts can be done with easily found tools in most people's homes, markers, book pages. If you don't have a vintage photo or any kind of brown um, ink, you can always use shoe polish. <coughs> you can use makeup. Certain makeups will do the same effect. And uh, so there's always a lot of things you can do. Just got to scratch your noggin and give it an old think -aroo. These book pages are from a botanical book. It doesn't matter. You can use any book pages. Um, it just happened to be the book that I had handy. All right. And so um, I will also go around the outside here quickly. You can put me on uh, super speed number two. And then this part will go faster. I love super speed number two. <laughs> my, my husband finally uh, showed me that and I'm like, oh my God, this is great. I could watch so many more videos so much faster. And uh, it, um, I don't know, I love it. Is it cheating? I don't know. But, uh, you know, hey, life is valuable. We got to get as much in as we can while we're here. So let's do it. All right. Yeah. I'm going to. Okay. All right. So we have that, and basically we're at the point where we just want to decorate it. So this is the basic construction of this one, and I'm going to put that aside, and I'm going to construct the other one, and then we'll decorate them both at the end, so you can just at least see both before you bail and go watch a different video, <laughs> which is totally fine. I understand. Okay, um, my example of the first one is here. And um, so let me just close up on this one again. So basically, this is using one big music page. Doesn't matter. These can make you can make these bigger or smaller. Focus. Well, I want to focus today. Okay, how about there? There? 
There we go. Okay. And this has two pockets, so a little bit easier. And what I did with this one was I used one mu music page. So there's not three pages as the other one. There's one. And then I used some contrasting um, book page that I had left over from the other project. Uh, and I used it here to contrast against the music paper. So contrast is always a good thing. Look for different, different styles like music and print, um, contrast of colors, white page and uh, cream colored page, um, music and font um, contrasted with white, clear, and just an image. Okay, to give you more. Uh, pop appeal. There's many ways to design, but that's kind of one of my favorite ones to use. Okay, so I took this book page and basically I just cut the, whoop, let me back up here so you can see. Um, I just cut the center piece out. So it looks like I've got this pre-cut and ready. Looks like this. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take another piece of a uh, book page that looks like that one. I have some here somewhere. All right, and we're going to cut it out to fit in here. So let me just cut that quickly. Oh my God, we're relying on, uh, better not. Hang on, let me use my guillotine. Uh, okay, and I know I had one of these pre-cut and I am per apparently hiding it from myself. So I have this one. Okay, so let's get some Inkarama going here and uh, notice how I use the uh, brown ink and the pink ink as a contrast. I'm gonna do that with this one too, because I kind of like that. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is basically think in thirds. We're going to have the first pocket here. The second pocket's going to be here and we need to leave enough to bring this down. So I may change that one to a little shorter pocket just so we have enough. Okay. Then before I glue everything down, I'm going to think of it this time. I am going to cut a little pulley tab out for the pocket. Just makes it easier. Okay. And yes, I did not do that on these. So well, maybe I won't do it on those. I'll just leave it as is so you can see what that looks like because I forgot. Okay. So here we go. Now let's ink this up while it's like this. I'm going to use the brown right now. Oh, okay, the brownie pink because I cross pollinate with my my inks. Oh, I'm horrible for that. Call me guilty. I'm sure that's like some major in rule breakage somewhere. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> All right. Now these papers are vintage, so they're going to be a little delicate. Um, and I'll show you how we can strengthen everything up a little bit. Um, oh, hang on. And we're back. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um, yeah, that's my, uh, I have an Amazon gray parrot. And I think he's triggered by me talking because uh, he's pretty quiet most of the day. But when he does like to give a little chitter chatter when I'm making videos. So sorry about that, guys. Um, all right. So we're going to glue that baby down. We've got baby number two, and we're going to give him a little clipperoo while I think of it. Yes, brain is working today. Okay, I'm going to put this one here. Yeah, that's a good spot. So because we're only using one page, we get two pockets. If you use uh, two, actually two or more pages, you can get three pockets. So um, you can make these as long as you want. You can have like forever ending pockets. Um, but obviously uh, thickness as you start to fold them up is going to become the, uh, the limiting factor if you want to put it in a journal. If you want to use it as an isolated thing, possibly to put gift cards in or something like that, you could totally do that. And you can go as chubby as you want. I'm all about the chub. Okay, so here we go. Now this book page is a little fragile. Where I am bending it, so I'm going to definitely reinforce it. You could double up and use double book pages and that kind of stuff, but I'm trying to maximize the thin, or minimize the fat, but also um, give some strength. So I'll show you how we'll do that. Okay, actually, let's fold this up first from the bottom. Yep. This is just gonna fold in half once, so we can go all the way up. Did we, did we go all the way up? Yeah, we did. Okay. Gonna color that. All right, 
So it's going to go look like that. And I'm like, I'm going to fold this one down like that. Okay. So now we have our basic construction and all we have to do is reinforce and decorate. Oh, let me see if I've got the right zoom. Yep. Okay. Let me move this just a little closer. There we go. Okay. These two. All right. So let's go back to the first one. And let's see, did I need to reinforce this one? No, this paper was actually strong enough. Um, it was a newer page, so I didn't need to reinforce that one. So I'm gonna leave that as is. So same thing with this one, it's the same paper. But this one, I did need to reinforce on the two hinges here. And one, I used a little piece of fabric and the other one, I used a little piece of washi. So I think we're gonna go ahead and just copy that idea. Because as you can see, the paper is starting to give way. Okay, so I have some cool washi here. And I thought some nice butterflies. It's nice to use images on music notes or fonts to give you some contrast. And oh yeah, this is the high quality stuff that tears apart into a thousand pieces. Okay, here we go. Just kidding. Probably got this in bargain basement. Okay. There we go. And you may want to glue this down as washi sometimes needs a little extra encouragement, but I think it's gonna be okay. We'll see. If it peels up, we'll glue it. Always gotta keep an eye on your washi. Yep, yeah, don't let your washi rule you. You rule the washi. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. And there we go. All right. So now we have some nice reinforcement there and I'm feeling very good that that, that gives a little decor on the bottom too. <clears throat> Okay, so let's do the top reinforcement. And up here, um, I had some little different materials and I thought maybe I would use a piece of white because it has a nice contrast against what's there. But, uh, okay, I don't, let's see. All right, let's cut it right about there. And let's use the old quick, fast drying Fabrifix. It's a fabric glue um, and it grabs fast and it dries fast. So don't prove me wrong here, fabric fix. All right, put that there. You can always trim the edges when you're done. And then we're gonna, whoop, maybe I want to advance it a little over the edge. Are we in frame? Yep. Okay, fold at the top, trim edge. Trimaroo. You can leave little dangly edges too. That's awesome. All right. So there we go. So um, let's uh, load them up and see how they look. Um, so here's this one. He's actually a little smaller than the prototype, but you know, that's the way it goes when you don't measure. And uh, but you can make these till the cows come home. They're very easy. And uh, okay, let's see. What do we have? These little ones I was going to put in here. Okay. Yes. Nope, these, these I was gonna put in here. Okay, so I got these, this cute little, uh, uh, I found these words, words are great. It, like see how the font size is much bigger, much different. You're gonna notice it against the little pockets here. And I'm gonna put these uh, in here. Dreams exist in the same place. And see there's enough room for the little heads to pop out. Would you still go there? I don't know what that means, but I thought it sounded intriguing. So that's gonna go in there. And that's going to fold up like that and close like that. And we're going to do more decorating. Okay. And this one, I made these little guys. No, nope, that's, that's the uh, prototype. Okay, here we go. All right, for this one, I have some little stamped and botanical cards. All right, here we go. Hang on. Oh, no, pup is not moving. All right, so we got that. And this one for some contrast up there. And I have these cute little, um, little tiny journaling cards, which I think I'll tuck in here. I'll tuck in here. Um, probably would use ones with more contrast than that. Do I have anything more contrast than that? Let me see. Oh, these are all kind of, you know what I could do? Instant contrast. Yeah, income. There we go. That brings out some pizzazz. Now you can see the definition against 
the cream and the cream. So if you end up with cream and cream stuff, which happens a lot in the vintage world, uh, doing the borders will definitely give you hope. Oh, hang on. And we're back. Okay, so I've inked up another little cutout and I put a little cat sticker stamp on it because my little birdies and dogs were all active. So I'm honoring the cat today in here. <laughs> Just to tease them. No, I love my little guys. Yeah. All right. My, there we go. There's some more color contrast like that. Okay. So I've also just highlighted, I bent this back where it's going to fold and I highlighted with the ink like that. And I did the same thing here just so I can get a good visual of where it is. And I think it looks nice when you do that on the folds. Okay. So you flip it up, flip it up, flip it down and go to town. There you go. So there is that one. He is loaded. Here's the first one we made. She is loaded. And so now we just decorate them up at will. And this is the fun part. So, um, okay. So what am I going to do here? Let's see. Uh, now I got these stickers. I think they're stickers. You know, you ever get these and you're not quite sure whether they come apart or you're supposed to just, oh yeah, it does. You're supposed to glue the whole thing down. Let's see. Well, I thought this was kind of cool. Let's do that. Uh, all right, put a little clock on there. Yeah, you, you can put anything on here, it doesn't matter. Um, and I think on this one, we'll do butterflies since we have the butterflies at the bottom. And watch me get this apart at lightning speed. Oh, I can see the separation. I have my readers on. We're good to go. All right. And maybe we're gonna overlap there a little on the thingy. All right, now this one, I did not do the um, uh, run around neither the prototype doesn't have the faux stitching either on this one But um, what I did with this one is I put a little of the uh, uh, liquid pearls, so let me just grab some random colors and it's uh, Fun to use contrasting colors because they will show up. So maybe on this one I'm going to use white and see how that goes. All right, let's zoom in Boop. and Watch the white all right, now usually what happens when I do this is I start getting it all over because I don't wait for it to dry, but we will try. Very important if you're gonna use this stuff, gotta set it aside to let it dry. Okay. Okay. And maybe I'm going to emphasize the border of this one with using the white. Maybe I'll come down and do the whole border. Why not? Feeling adventurous today. Don't use the white that often, but sometimes when you have some darker uh, print, it looks cool. Or darker um, vintage photoed area, it can look kind of cool. All right, did I show you that or did I hide it from you? There we go. Okay. All right, got anything else here I want to stick on there? A little cute little envelope sticker. That's kind of cute. I wonder if you can ink these. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Okay, give it a little color. Stick that on there. I don't normally use stickers, but I got these in a in a box, and I thought I'd try them. Mm. There we go. Okay, very tenderly showing you that that. And um, okay, so I'm going to call that one done, and then we'll decorate the big long one with you over here before I stick my foot in it. All right. So I think up here, I just feel like putting a stamp there. And uh, what do I got? What do I got? Oh, I got this. Okay. Um, I'm going to put this little rose. And okay. Stamper. There. And there. And uh, I've got this here. I can do more on the front here. I could make a little collage in the corner. Maybe take some different um, fabrics and collage them together or make a little cluster out of them. And maybe like a little baby cluster. Oh yeah, I wanted to use this. Okay. We've got some pink theme going on through there. Grab a little stapler. You could sew this together. You could glue it together. I'm going to staple it together for, I'm going to put that right there. 
I'm going to put it right there. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac for this because um, it's a little stronger. Mm. All right. Down goes the glue. More. All right. Enough, but not too much with the Fabri-Tac. Okay. All right. So there we go. So this one, let me back up for you. Close here. All right. Flip up. Flip up. Well, guys, all decorated. And we could do some more, possibly some more stamping here. Let's let's uh, put the rose down here as well. A unifying theme of rose. So you can see it on the outside. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. All right. So there you go. So this one I would use um, as a removable because it's a little bit thicker um, and it's strong and it can easily be removed from the from the thing from the journal. Um, this one, oh yep, I did it. <sighs> I knew I would do it. Uh, okay. Well, anyway, you get you get the drift. Um, <laughs> okay, stop touching it. Okay, this one is thinner. It's a more delicate book page. So what I would do is adhere the back of this to the book page. So the person only operates the flaps and the flaps have been reinforced. And that, once it's um, mounted on the book page, that will give it enough strength to be durable. And uh, so those are my recommendations. I um, uh, hope you like these ideas. They're fun. They're great ways to use up book pages and um, stay tuned for more ideas with book pages. They'll be coming. I got a whole bunch of stuff made I want to show you. And um, I've got three journals in my shop right now. The one I just made the other night was sold. Um, but uh, there are three still remaining in there. If you'd like to check those out, they are for sale at my Etsy, the Paper Outpost. And um, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you next time, guys. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, like and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>